What's up, modern steaders? Today's gonna be a big push to see if we can get this chicken coop finished. Let's get started. First thing we gotta do is we gotta get this panel out of the door. And floated with a bunch of dum-dum tape that we gotta clean off so we can put some wood panels in here. No way, don't tell me that actually lines up right where we need it to. What? That board. I mean, tell me that wasn't meant to be. All right, guys, I told you in the 30 random fact video, I'll link that here, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist sometimes. So that bottom board is about a quarter of an inch high compared to the other boards going across at the same height. So we gotta rip this down anyways, the top board. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch off the bottom and then I'll top, I'll rip the top board and get that looking nice. Man, we gotta take a saw blade off. Yep. Let's try this. Oh, nice. We're gonna glue this and liquid nail this together and use some little rubber strips that they had holding their other panel in place. I know it fits, I've already tried it all, so we just gotta, there we go. We have these rubber strips that push into this groove. Should we take a sneak peek? What do you think? I'm glad we did, we gotta clean up some glue. Let's leave it there to dry now. Guys, last board for this side. Let's see if we can get it to fit. Now that'll provide some awesome ventilation in the summertime and some nice daylight in the wintertime. Let's see how this door fits. Nice. You gotta tack it in place. Now we gotta see what the top of the door looks like. Okay, we'll take this top plate off. Now let's see what we can do here. Oh, bummer. Okay. 
course, guys, things never go according to plan. The bottom of the door is 21 inches wide, and the top of the door that you put together is 22 and a half inches wide. So we've got to re-engineer our door opening. Now that we got our door readjusted, let's try this out again. When I tried cleaning up this side the other day, I just used my jigsaw and that didn't do a nice job. So I'll have to go over there with my skill saw and clean it up now. Let's see about getting this top piece up. Now we're just going to take a bunch of rough saw and lumber, put it on the outside of the store to hold it in place and trim it out. What's up, modern stutters? Right here, the bottom one. What's up, modern stutters? Right here, the bottom wire and top wire are a little loose. So I am taking some 2x4 framing scraps that I have left over. And we are just putting them in place and nailing them. Kind of making a picture frame, not because we need it. For strength or anything, we are just doing this so we make sure no critters can get in this thing at night. And I'm just going to repeat doing that for the rest of these little windows. Awesome guys, we got them all framed out. Now come winter time we can put plastic or glass over the inside and outside and it might help insulate and keep the cooler air outside. I don't know, but we can give it a try. I'll spin you around and I'll show you what the other side looks like. I will say I'm really happy with those vents. You can really feel the air moving through them. All right, modern steaders, we're gonna trim out the chicken coop with some rough cut lumber. I'm just gonna repeat that for all four sides now. All right, now you guys literally get to see what it looks like before I really get to see it. Might be after me, but while I'm recording it, it's before me. Pretty wild, right? Oops, wrong way. That might help. Hey guys, that corner don't look bad, right? Dresses it up, changes the appearance a little bit. Do you ever find yourself doing a wood siding job? Invest in a siding nail gun. It's so much faster and handier. Anytime we do something here at the house, a big project, if we have the money, we buy at least one new tool, and that way we always have it. And next time we go and do a project, say like this one now, after building our house, 
we got the siding gun. We were able to use that to put all the pine boards on the interior of the house, inside the outside of the house. I think it was like 250. It definitely paid for itself. modern steaders I decided to go with wood fenders for two reasons we have a bunch of scrap rough sawn lumber from just trimming out the trailer and also I want to try to keep the trailer as natural as possible without plastics and stuff in it I can see the chickens coming around pecking at the plastic fender flares and we don't want that we have enough plastic and BPA in our environment as it is I don't need it to get into my chickens like they say you are what you eat This cut over here by the door. That's gonna be fun to figure out. It might take me a minute. Nice. All right, modern steaders. We got a door in here for the chicks to go into the chicken coop. You just gotta get a latch to hold it up in place. And then we'll make a ramp. Then we gotta do the ramp for the chicks to get in and out, a latch for the door, and the rain gutters to make the self-watering system. That's tomorrow's project. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps and we appreciate it. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow, guys, at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.